Last week while studying, I stumbled into John chapter 6. I've never seen that light in my life from 50 and 51. It's 54, God showed to me. I was told the Holy Ghost unveiled 50, 51. Just opened like this to me. And then a pastor in the first service he testified in another ministry. He was here and then he opened his own ministry. He was rushed to the hospital for a heart problem. He could barely talk when he called me. He was gasping for breath. And I called him. His voice was going up. I said, read John. He could not read. No one somebody sick to that point. Right? To read the Bible was a problem. I said, read your last voice. He managed. He was struggling to read. He gave testimony that on the spot was. He said his BP got to what? One night I'm not a doctor. Doctors would tell you better. He said he was capsing when the call was made. And that pastor very close to me had threatening him face to face. A light came from that verse of scripture. And I said today, when God has done something, when it's fresh, you better use it. Now in John 6, 50, 51, look at the scripture. Don't say you know, I've read this scripture over and over, but you know when you read scripture until Rema comes, it's different. This is the bread. If you're in your house, please prepare communion. This is the bread which cometh down from heaven. Jesus speaking, not John. That a man may eat thereof and not die. That means the communion, when you eat it, it destroys death. Understand it. He said that a man may eat it and not die. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. So it means till your time on earth is over, you are not permitted to have kidney failure. To have heart failure. And the bread that I will give is my flesh to avoid confusion. He said, this bread is my flesh. Your faith is what makes it work. Which I give for the life of the world. You know what I'm saying? I'm giving this, not in heaven, here. So that if anything is to kill you here, this bread will deliver you from it. Do you understand it? So from this day, as you partake of this life of Jesus, dead is destroyed. In the name of Jesus. Even if they told you your kidneys, like that pastor was capsing for breath and on the spot he came back to life. Everyone capsing for breath. Cancer eating your body up. The life giver himself through the mystery of the communion destroys that terminal disease in the name of Jesus. Terminal cases will be destroyed right now. Diabetes will be destroyed right now. HIV will turn negative right now. Sickle cell will turn AA. In the name of Jesus, blood cancer will be destroyed. Everything that wants to kill you will be destroyed. Life will come in the name of Jesus. And in verse 3 and 54, Jesus said unto them, Very well, something, except you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and take his blood, you have no life. So you may have life. There the communion table. Say it one more time. He said, Who's not eating my flesh? blood? Have eternal life. And I will raise him up. Eternal life is God's kind of life. From this day, you will replicate God's kind of life. It will be said, after that communion I took, I have not broken down again. You will say, 40 years ago, 30 years ago, 20 years ago, somebody will start a testimony from this service. Somebody will start a testimony from this service. He said, 20 years ago, after the communion, no sickness again. It will start right in this service. Shout a loud amen. With this deep revelation and understanding, stretch your hands for the communion. I pray that this is the last day sickness attacks your body. Dead is destroyed. Go ahead and pray in the name of Jesus. Pray with authority. Pray with power. Pray. Pray. Open your mouth. Pray. As I partake of your flesh and blood. Dead is destroyed. Dead. You are destroyed. Take your hands off. Life goes through my body. Are you praying 
with authority? Are you praying with power? Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, everyone that takes of his flesh and blood this hour, you are walking out of dead. You are walking into sound health from now. In the name of Jesus. And so shall it be. Give him thanks.